What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button to show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright guys, today I was kind of debating, I was like, did I want to go and do Prophet Orbs and Heroic Miracle on the official server, or do I want to do something different? And I decided... I want to do something different, all right, because I just did that yesterday. I was like, what would be really the point? So today, we're going to play a little bit on the seasonal server here, and I've got some stuff to do. I've actually got two stuffs to do, um, but straight up, we've got some heroic summons to go ahead and blast through, so we might as well do it. Um, no reason not to at this stage. We'll blow through some other stuff first, though. We've got a couple of these. See what we get there. Nothing important. See what we get here. I'm going to guess nothing really important. Oh, five star. I lied. I'm a liar who lies about things. Um, but we got 10, 13 heroic scrolls. Might as well do them. Well, there you go. Starting out pretty hot there. Another Das Moog. Dude, I've got so many... Or not Das Moog. Sleepless. I've got so many sleepless. It's retarded. It is <laughs> legitimately retarded. Uh, I'm not going to do any of the... Uh, what you call them? The dark hero builds this season. Wasn't something I was into. I've seen people that have um, straight up... What you call them? Like 10 star light and 10 star dark heroes. Honestly, I don't know how they do it. It must be some freakish luck or something. I don't know. Um, of course, this was my first uh, first seasonal, so we did make some mistakes. Not a huge deal. But more importantly, today we are going to take one of our heroes to 10 stars. Now you would think, is it Vesa? Is it Ice Blink? Nay. Nay, nay. It is neither of them. It is actually going to be Bloodblade. All right, we've got all the stuff we need to 10 star Bloodblade. We've got the extra copies. Um, what we do need is a backup 9-star, right? We need a backup 9-star hero to feed into him, and for that, we're going to actually use Ormus. Ormus isn't all that great. I've got a Vesta anyway at 9-star, so Ormus is pretty much useless. Um, so I might as well just use him as fodder, right? That's kind of the idea here. We've got a 6-star right there. Um, three far, uh, five bars. Three 5-stars. I don't need three Ice Blinks. I only need two to 10-star Ice Blink later down the road. Um, and we'll just go like so, right? Yes. Go ahead and awaken him up to the 8-star version of himself. Bang. And now, we're going to take him to the 9-star version of himself. Because we can. And that's what you do when you can. You do. Um, so here we go. We're going to just use the... Eh. Well, I can use him to 5-star later. We'll just go like so. Not a huge deal. Waken that dude up to the hot 9-star action. He is now ready to become food for my Bloodblade, which is great. I need my Bloodblade because he's going to do a lot for me, um, probably in the Aspen dungeon even, because my vest is only nine stars, um, but also mainly his boss damage. It's my best um, point this season was in the event battle raid. Um, that's where I'm trying to focus my efforts here at the end, is trying to really push myself up and get high there. Not really worried too much about the PvP because I sucked at it. It was a bad season for my PvP. It makes me want to cry a little bit. All right, not going to lie about things. So anyways, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump over here. We're going to take this guy up to an 8-star, using a 6-star of you, and 1, 2, and 3 of you. Like so. Awakened. Now we have an 8-star Bloodblade. Stats getting better. Looking good. Now we've got to go to 9. Got the Bloodblade. Got the 6-star. Need two more of these, like a so. And let's do it. Nine star, bang, <laughs> growing in power he is. All right, and now lastly, we've got the two blood blades for the ten star. We've got the six star, and we've got the nine star Ormus, who will be fed. All right, going to be fed into my blood blade. He's going to become stronger and gain some self sustain on his uh, active skill. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make our first ten star blow. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Go away. I tell you what, guys. So unprofessional. Would you pull down there? There we go. And that's what I'm talking about. All right. So with that being said, that little canoodle out of the way there, we've got a 10-star Bloodblade, and he needs lots of the levels. 160 out of 250. That's a lot. And we're going to pump him. We're going to pump him all the way up, and we're going to take him in and do a little bit of battling. Uh, probably in the event raid, if I can pull a Marauder, I'll fight a Marauder. If I have some guild boss fights, I'll use a guild boss fight, something like that. Just kind of want to see where his damage is at versus heavy bosses, you know what I'm saying? Like the big, tough guys, because that's kind of where I'm focused right now. Not sure what I'm going to do next season. I've been kind of spitballing it around. Like, what do I want to do? Do I want to go for, like, a, a balls-out PvP try-hard team? Um, or do I want to do something just kind of fun? I'm thinking about doing something just kind of fun. All right, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see how that goes. Next season's coming up here in uh, 
It'll be about a week or so. We've got a few days left on this season. I think it's three or four. We're getting there. Don't worry, guys. Slowly, slowly pumping up the levels on this dude. And he's almost there. Almost. Ten more levels to go. It's taking a lot of stuff. I'm almost out of gold. Not a big deal, though. And there we go. 541,000 health. Not a huge amount of HPs on this guy. Doesn't have my best gear either, and I think that's something I'm going to change. I'm going to actually... The five-star gear is staying on Vesa. She's too useless. Uh, useless. <laughs> She's too useful in the Aspen. Um, but I do want my Blood Blade to be a little stronger. So we're going to go ahead and give him the the four-star stuff. Make him a little bit better looking. Really not that great. My tech's not maxed for the, uh, what you call them, the Assassins. It's up there. It's just not all the way up there. Who is this on to start with? Okay. I just need to calm down. I don't want to put that on you. You need this. For the crit, the speed, and the HP. Really good artifact for your Demon Hunter, by the way. It's got everything she needs. Crit, HP, and speed. Speed and HPs. I just ran an attack stone on my Blood Blade. Um, I was debating maybe crit, but I don't know. I think attack just kind of plays well with him, too. I asked around a little bit. Most people seem to be in consensus that attack was the best deal. So here we go, guys. We've got three 10 stars, and I do believe we can actually get another 10 star right now. Um, but I don't want to. We'll do that in a another video, I guess, because it's, I don't know, too much for one video. So we're going to go ahead and take this. Oh, we got something here. Oh, yeah. We got that stuff. Well, I guess I didn't need to pull that four-star gear off after all. Total rookie I am. What do we get here? What is that? Psy? Speed and HP and crit? <laughs> that is what you need on a demon hunter. <laughs> take back that previous recommendation. That sucker right there. Hot. Hot. Hot and attractive. Anyways, not the important thing. Do we have an ability to summon a marauder right now? We do not. We do have a guild boss. We might... Oh, no, that's not, that's not guild bosses. That is not guild bosses at all. This is. I don't know what my guild boss thing's looking like. We're on the, the Berea. He's pretty disgusting. All right? He's, uh, he smashes it round four. He gets pretty pretty crazy. All right? They get pretty nuts. Where am I at right now? Huh. Nobody look at that. <laughs> Nobody look at that. It never happened. So what do we got here? Uh, pretty solid for guild boss damage. They do wreck me pretty fast either way. Um, I think we're going to swap you with a you. I don't know. We'll see how this works out. We'll jump in here. We'll jump in here. It's probably going to last like two or three rounds, though. These guild bosses get pretty freaking nasty. But I'm totally into it. Totally into it. Let's see what we can get. Ooh. That wasn't bad. It's not bad at all. That Blood Blade's dropping some pretty wicked damage. 300k. Not bad. I'm totally okay with how things are going right now. Totally okay with it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That ended quick. <laughs> so my damage didn't really go up that high. Um, he did a lot. A lot, a lot. 1.7 mil. It's not really a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting wrecked here. If I had a 10-star Vesa, maybe a better, uh, you know, better able to keep up with the damage I'm taking. But whatevs. Not a huge deal. Oh, load for me. Check out how badly I'm still doing. Where am I? Oh my god, I'm still way down there. Let's not even worry about that. What we're going to worry about is the event raid, because that is where I'm doing the best right now. That is, yeah, that's top 100. Not doing horrible for not really having invested a crazy amount into it. What we could do, go ahead and blast through our Aspen um, with this, with that, with that, with that. I swore Blood Blade was in there. Um, and I don't know where I want to go with the last one. I guess we'll just go with Ice Blink. He's my highest star right now. He's not really good in the Aspen, though. You know what? Screw it. We'll throw a Heart Watcher in there. Just because. Smash that first 100 levels. I never actually made it through the first 200 waves. I know. I know. I'm trash. Can't help it. It was a bad season for me in the Aspen. It took a long time. I want to see what Bloodblade does, though, versus the Skirky. Just just real quick, like, see how, how bad he tears it up. Like so. Oh, wow. Okie doke. <laughs> Not looking bad. Not looking bad for the Bloodblade action. Oh, my God. I only got one of the attack boosts. For real? I don't know. Do I want to check what all this stuff is? I mean, I've got a lot of... Got a decent amount of gems. Need the casino stuff. Look at all these. Like, no one buys those. Like, the hero shards. It's just not worth, man. 3,000 gems for that? Like, go with the 10 profit orbs. You're probably going to get five more of the heroes. So, I don't know. Eh. We're not worried about that right now. I'll do that off camera. It takes forever. But, limited events. In the broken spaces area. We've got nine of these dealie hookies. I fought this guy before. I did 4% damage in one attack. Um, so we're going to try it again, but now we'll be using a 10-star of the Bloodblade action, and we're going to see what we can get into. 
See what kind of nasty damage we can do. I've heard the fox is the best monster for doing monster damage because he replenishes your allies' active skills, um, which means they actually get to increase that damage you do. I don't know, the snake's pretty nasty on damage. Um, dragon, probably my weakest. Um, <laughs> probably the weakest for the damage on the bosses, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to blast through this guy here, see what kind of crits I can hit with my, uh, what you call it, my blood blade. It's my main concern right now. See what we can get there. Because he, oh, that's almost a million right there. And we're not even near the high end damage yet. Oh, I'm a million basic attack? <laughs> I like it. I like it lots. See what we got here. I'm going to go ahead and guarantee he's my highest damaging hero after this. Um, yeah, absolutely. Pretty crazy dude. I wish I would have got one a little earlier, but didn't have the fodders. I made a ton of mistakes, though, like getting on early. Didn't get my four-star heroes. Couldn't make my five-star heroes. Stop me from making six-star heroes. I Ooh, that's a two million. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I kind of held myself back. It's my own fault. Can't blame nobody but myself for that. But next season, should be able to do a little bit better. Man, we did a lot of damage on that. That, was, that wasn't that was bad. That was not bad. 39 million. Um, not what a lot of people are probably dropping with amazing, like, Sigmunds. If I had a Sigmund in that spot where Dragon Hunter is, or Dragon Hunter, Dragon Slayer, probably been a bit of a different story. He does a freakish buttload of damage. Uh, but yeah, not bad. About 17 million coming from the Blood Blade. I'm totally okay with that. So what we're going to do here... Where am I at on the total? Did I move up at all doing that? Two slots. Let's go ahead and spend... Spend some gems here. Let's smash... What are we going to do this? How many do we need? I think about 25 of them. 25 of them. Um, we're on this dude. We knocked him down. What was that? He was at 96 down at 92. So about 4% damage. Didn't really change much. Go ahead and smash this guy with a hot 20. A hot 20 of these. And is everything set up the way it should be set up? Pretty much. I don't think it really matters the position of my heroes right now. Not really a big deal. Let's jump in and see what we can do here. Getting some dusts. Lots of damage was just done. Did I kill it? Close. Close to killing it. Oops. I, I just clicked the same button twice. Don't worry, guys. I'm on top of things. Top 57 right now. We will go up higher. We will must go up higher. Doing about 4% per time. We think about four more smashes. We'll take this guy to death. Right? 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 I've never actually beat this high into the deals. So I have no idea how much these 400 dudes, like, damage-wise, what they're dealing. Um, which, we'll take that as well. We'll take that as well. It's crazy. That's crazy! Where are we at now? I want to see. Wrong button. This one. 63! We're moving up! So I'm going to blast through probably a, the majority of my gems here. I don't really need heroic scrolls at this point in the game. I highly doubt I'm going to get the 9-star fodder to make a 10-star Vessa. Um, I will be able to make a 10-star Ice Blink, probably. Probably going to happen. I tried to get my darks to where I could make a 9-star with them. I just don't have enough dark heroes. It's I don't know how people have gotten so many. Um, even light heroes. just psh, I haven't even made a single 6-star yet. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. So... I doubt we'll get to a 10-star Vesa. We can already make a 10-star Ice Blink. I think we're going to probably end the season with four 10-stars, um, which isn't horrible. It's not a terrible way to end the season, but, you know, whatever. I want to do one battle here on this level 400 dude just to kind of see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Let's just see what happens. I don't know what they're going to do, like, crazy amounts of damage or what happens. I've never gone really high on him, but we'll see. We'll see what he does. That's a pretty decent amount of damage. That's no, that's no big deal. Vesa can outheal a lot of damage. Yeah, I think we'll be just fine, actually. He does damage over time as well, but eh. Ooh, he does hit pretty hard. I don't think he's going to kill anybody, but not bad. I think we'll make it through. We might be able to kill this guy again. As long as he doesn't have crowd control, that's kind of what I'm aiming for, because the bosses without crowd control mean you put more damage out on them, generally speaking. And I don't know. I don't know if, like... The little hero here, like whatever this dude is, like actually in the book, when you look at him, if he's the same class. So if I should be swapping artifacts to whatever he is in like the book, because I know in the Celestial Island, it doesn't work that way. Because you can't like stun the mages. Sometimes things that are mages, like normally in the game, in Celestial Island, they're not actually mages. So I don't know how that works. If somebody does know, drop a comment. It will definitely help me out. But I think we're just going to... We're just going to rock through it like we're doing right now and not really worry too much about swapping artifacts around and just kind of do what we can do here. Did a pretty decent amount of damage again. 33 million. So we didn't do bad. We didn't do bad. Um, Bloodblade dropping about 14 million. 
I'll take it. I'll take it. Does that move us up at all just fighting him once? It did a little bit. Um, so I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to go through and beat this guy all the way up as well. Um, the same way. I don't really need monster materials at all, but he is weaker. So I think if I fought him instead, I would get further. We'll see how that goes. I'll probably do it off camera. But anyways, the main point of the day was getting a 10-star Bloodblade. We did it. I absolutely love him. Tons of damage. Amazing hero. Going to be pretty solid in the Aspen as well. But... That's be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button and share your support if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Tell your friends about it because that definitely helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next one.